Hello everybody, I'm the Nerdy Old Man, and today I'm here to play Will You Press the Button. Now, I've seen a lot of other people do this. I figured that uh, I'd give it a shot. I plan on getting caught up on some of my other videos. It's just, uh, like I said, I had an equipment malfunction. I'm trying to get caught back up, and I'm trying to create content to, until I can get back to that. But, uh, so... In order to get something out here, I'm going to press that button. Or will I? Let's see. Have sex with the most beautiful woman ever in the world every day, but you'll never be able to consume any forms of alcohol, weed, or drugs. Hmm. Well. I'm... I don't like a beer every once in a while. Never did weed or drugs. Now, I assume they're talking about recreational drugs. They're not talking about drugs that you need to actually live, you know, like a blood pressure medicine and stuff like that. <sighs> and I'm already married to the most beautiful woman in the world. Anyway, I'm guessing it's assuming that I'm single. If I was single, have sex with the most beautiful woman every day, but never be able to consume alcohol, weeds, or drugs. Honestly, alcohol, weed, and drugs are not that much of an appeal to me. So, I will press that button. 68% of the people pressed this button, while 32% did not. I'm kind of amazed, because, you know... Yeah, sex is good, but it's not everything. I mean, you need to enjoy other parts of life. What are some of the questions? Losing beer and narcotics is so worth infinite sex. <laughs> Everyone here is stupid. Alcohol disinfects wounds and drugs for health. Also traded for STDs. <laughs> oh, good points. It's a... Uh... Giving up alcohol would be hard. Okay, well, let's go to the next one. Okay, you can time travel whenever you please using your mind. You can't go in the future and risk messing everything up by ruining important times. You can't go into the future. You can time travel to whenever you please. How could I ruin, how could I risk messing up things going to the future? But if I could time travel to any point in time, just using my mind, do you realize how many things I could learn? Such stuff that I've always wondered about. Uh, like, did the Battle of Troy actually happen? Did it happen the way that it said? Uh, I'll admit it. Go there in the crucifixion day. I mean, seriously. Time travel to any time you'd want to? Yes. Most definitely. Can't go into the future? I can handle that. I will press that button. 71% <laughs> of the people would press that button. 29% did not. I don't really get it. Wait, that means you <laughs> that means it's I can go in the past and I can't come back? Exactly. No, I think it's more like the future, not the future. I didn't think about that. I don't, well, I mean if you're going Well, I mean yeah, time tra I wouldn't want to screw anything up because you know I've read plenty of uh, sci-fi novels where things go horribly wrong whenever you mess with time. So, uh, but no, I, I would press that button in a heartbeat. That was good. Okay, let's go on to the next one. You gain the ability to control time. It only works on clocks. <laughs> I think that's like setting the time on your watch. <laughs> I think I've already got that ability. I'll press that button. 
<laughs> this could actually be useful. Make lunchtime happen an hour sooner. I was <laughs> uh, it's better than nothing. No downside. Well, <laughs> 50 se- but only 57% press that button. Huh. Right, that is good. You can create money from nothing, but each bill and coin must be painfully pulled through <laughs> rethrow one at a time. Yeah. <laughs> Painfully pulled through your through one at a time. Ugh. You know, a bunch of hundred dollar bills. Hmm. <laughs> but pulling it out of my urethra. Ow. Oh, and rest assured, it will be paper money. There's no coins coming out from down there. Ooh, it's it does, but I don't have to do it all the time. And it only be in a case of an emergency. Yes, I will press that button. Because free money is worth a little pain. Even 38%? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it never said you had to. It's handy if you're short on cash. Yeah. <laughs> Let's scroll down here and see what some of these comments are. Uh, you must, to do that, you want some money. You know your grammar. When it says must, it doesn't mean you have to for all of your money. Can we say morphine? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't say you don't have to take pain medicine before you do it. I can pull out enough money to pay for it. I don't say that's good. All right. Get free hats from any shop, but you smell bad. I don't wear hats. And I really don't want to run around smelling bad. Ugh. That's kind of an easy... I will not press that button. 25, 25%. I'll bet all the people who play Team Fortress 2 are having a field day with this one. <laughs> I just can't see... I think I would rather smell good than wear a hat. But some people are obviously into hats. Let's go. You'll be able to own any game you desire. You'll only be able to finish 99% of it. No. <laughs> uh-uh. I, just, I get games to beat them. And I don't consider a game beaten until I have gone through every single avenue that you can play it. So no, I'm not going to do 99% of it. I will not press that button. 60% press the button. Why? Probably a single item that you missed and don't care about. Or even better, the credits. <laughs> True, I hate the credits. Uh, no, I'd, 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 no, I I I will have to finish the game. Now, what else we got on here? Okay, the girl you love wears what you want every day, looking stunning each time, but you'll forever be friend-zoned. No. Having the woman that you love just sitting there all the time and you can never get with her? No, that's that's self-torture, and I'm not into that. Nope, I will not press that button. They, 31% pressed it. I think that's good. That's a good, uh, good question. The partner of your dreams, real or fictional, falls in love with you and you live a perfect life anywhere you choose. He or she will die a slow, excruciatingly painful death after 10 years. So... 
I'm going to have 10 good years. And let's see, I'm actually right now 46. That put me at 56. And even then, even then, I don't think I would really want to see someone I love die slowly. And I will not press that button. 37% of the people press the button. <sighs> Just like a deal with the devil and supernatural. <laughs> well, what if they're an immortal? <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Any story you think of instantly gets written down for you without you having to write it yourself. But you'll always be compared to Stephanie Meyer. Who? Stephanie Meyer. Oh, why don't I look up Stephanie Meyer real quick? Uh, oh, she wrote Twilight. I have dabbled in writing, and I am working on a few stories. If I'm compared to the woman that wrote Twilight, so be it. <laughs> I, I'm not really that concerned about being compared to uh, another successful writer. So yes, I will press that button. I'm getting a lot of good ones. 57, 43% did not. This story in history in the universe, and <laughs> when compared to Stephanie Meyer, this story is the best in the history of the universe, and Stephanie Meyer's is crap. <laughs> I like that. It's it doesn't say that it, it's a bad thing to be compared to her. We'll do one more. You become the greatest player in any sport of your choice, but. Cannot play professionally or for money. And I'm going to leave it at here and let y'all decide what you would do in the comments. I really, uh, this is uh, this was actually a lot funner than I thought it was going to be. Anyway, would you become the greatest player in your sport but never be able to become professional? Would you press the button? That's the question. And anyway, and I want to leave it here, and you all take care. I'm the Nerdy Old Man signing off. Remember to hit that like button and please share. And you all take care.